Yes, a quick update. A video from Planet Robo Durden inside my little uh, camper with 300 watt on top, 1000 watt outside, 280 amp hours, uh, uh, 48 volt below. Uh, still need electric heating, 300 to 500 watt, but my uh, Gas a fire that's uh, this wind uh, I built it this winter. Uh, it it's hard to get it on, but uh, now when it's on, it works somehow. So it's a heat exchanger. So inlet air is getting heated up by the exhaust, and the exhaust is cooled down. That's why I can have uh, outside a, a van to to pull out the, the, the exhaust. Yeah, you may, might see some clouds. Uh, yeah, carbon monoxide sensor there. It's, uh, not really enough to, to cook, but maybe I could just uh, heat up a bit, boil a bit of water uh, this evening. Here is uh, some cooking. And um, yeah, here it's a uh, uh, temperature sensor is, is, is not working. Uh, maybe some voltage uh, disconnected. That's a uh, RPM sensor and this is the RPM output and uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> the heater. I want to make a, a small update on these uh, Boston uh, cells because Pina or Pina uh, finally is online with her Alibaba shop. So you could all order um, from her or from whoever you like. Uh, so you see here it's simply you know, 2.5 millimeter cables to, to connect and this is quite nice very cheap I uh, only I think 24 uh, euro 120 amp uh, 7s BMS because uh, one Boston cell is 5.3 amp hours and 3c is a max current so something like 15 amps is a maximum and 8 uh, um, times 15 um, 8 cells in parallel so it's 120 amps uh, 130 amps so this is um, it's, it's, it's fitting quite nice and yeah this is also the lowest to highest voltage is look, looking good uh, but you see it's the low and that's a question so it, it says 24 um, percent um, based on the total voltage but if you start with the cells then the lowest cell is 11 percent only and this uh, determines uh, why, when the battery BMS shuts off. And what I would like to ask you is, it's it's not the first uh, battery you see the first, that's the first cell, and it's increasing. You see 16%, 24, 27, 30, 32%, and 33%. And you cannot make use of these 33% because as I said, you see this is the lowest um, determined when it shut off and if you charge it then the, the highest uh, the highest uh, wall, uh, cells uh, makes the BMS shut off uh, so you cannot really charge the entire all, all cells to full and and when it's full it was already 0.2 so mm, or even more than 0.2 that might be a quality but Pina uh, was very um, she said that these indeed are A grades, and uh, with, with these uh, lightly FIPIO, it's it's really. Um, I think that you cannot buy A grades on Alibaba because all these big blue uh, 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 cells are uh, for car industry, and they are uh, spot welded with aluminium. This aluminium spot welded, and if you have something with a screw inside, then it's made uh, from B grades. That's, that's my, but uh, these Boston cells uh, might be okay. And I've driven, I think, about 10 cycles uh, by now. Made a 600 kilometer tour with my sm small solar camper. It's, it's there. And the 260 kilometer uh, trips with my uh, e bike. And so I'm, this is a 100, uh, uh, 1,100 uh, watt hours battery pack. I, I quite like it, of course. It's, <laughs> it's heavy, but it's 
lithium ion and so it's not as heavy as a sleepypo. And so yeah, um, that's how easy you can build. So here's a four millimeter output I, I made here connected uh, to the BMS and inside connected with uh, simply a couple uh, 2.5 square millimeters. Uh, but why is the low first cell always the lowest? Uh, only reason could be here the BMS cables, that's the highest uh, voltage, um, that they have a voltage divider and the, the, um, with, the with the resistors and therefore the highest voltage is, is drawing more current. But you see this is a 5 amp hours times 8, it's, it's a 40 amp hour and, and so I don't really know why, why this happens and the problem here is that um, you see an active balancer uh, does not really make much use because the lowest uh, voltage should be balanced with the highest voltage but as uh, is I think these capaci uh, active balancers uh, with uh, capacitors they only uh, swap uh, the neighbors and so it, it's and they only start with 0.1 uh, um, voltage and so the difference between here is, is, is the cells is less than 0.1 it's only the total that's why uh, I think the inductive uh, balancers are better but here I, I have a, a 10 amp uh, active balancer uh, inductive uh, and it's not working at all uh, it's it's a black box with no LED showing any sign of work and uh, so uh, was 50 euro uh, this um, I really do care that uh, to, to connect it correctly ask uh, the company if it's allowed to pull the plug or should I put in inserts uh, the, the, the socket first and then connect so I did everything wrong and still uh, you see the inductive uh, should be able to to balance from this uh, to, to that cell. That's why I still, uh, I, I would like um, if someone uh, finds a, an active balancer where you really can program it to, to not uh, simply uh, starting from 0.1 volt, but where you really can tell uh, uh, this balancer to balance actively until uh, it really uh, with, with maximum, I think this was uh, 1.2 amps, but you only get these 1.2 amps if there's this voltage gap. And, and so I would like to have an active balancer where you can really say, okay, I want 1.2 amps from this to that path. Anyway, yeah, it's, these are these Boston cells. Pina is <laughs> ready to sell. Uh, as I s there may be others who might be a bit cheaper, but with the spinner you at least know, okay, that's really a human being. And yeah, everything to show you I have shown. So have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>